This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my first impressions of the Fully Win 015. Now, uh, this is just a beautiful resin pen. It's got blues and purples. And the first thing I noticed was like there are two little lines where it's just like a, a plain dark blue where the pearlescent it's not really a seam it's just a line where the pearlescence didn't I, I don't know get mixed through the resin and it reminded me of the I think it was the pelican may have been like a m800 or something like that the ocean swirl that a lot of people were complaining like one side of their pen would be this beautiful blue swirl and the entire back half was just dark dark blue and I have a pen that's less than thirty dollars that just has two tiny little streaks of not pearly swirl so that's not really anything to complain about this is just the the swirly chatoyance is just mesmerizing now there's no clip on this pen and that is uh, something that I normally don't like in a pen but this pen was just so beautiful that that kind of outweighed the no clip let's see it's got a fully one medium nib it's got somewhat of a it's not really an upturned nib but there's a uh, the way it's ground gives it a little bit of upturn to it. It does post and well balanced. I can let go of it and it doesn't fall back. It does add a little weight to the pen, but let's see how it writes. Let's see, I need some glasses for this. super smooth just wow is all I can say I have it inked up with Iroshizuku Azagal a little bit of a stubbiness to the nib now that I look at it the side strokes appear to be a little thinner than the down strokes wow just very smooth not extremely wet but like I said on the pin BBS pen it wasn't extremely wet either but very well tuned Let's see if this one can reverse right. Oops. The reverse writing on this one is very smooth and it goes from a medium to a very good uh, fine nib. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see, so first impressions on this one. Let's see. Very good. I would say this is super smooth. Now, I ordered this from Bobby Pin. This is the same retailer that I got my Pin BBS 
308 from. This did not come in a box. It just came in the box that my Pen BBS 308 came in. Um, and it was well packaged. Lots of bubble wrap. I'm just, wow, blown away by this pen. We'll see how I do with a pen that does not have a clip. I mentioned in a previous video that I like my Caveco Perkeo all black. I don't have any any gripes against it, but I just don't use it very often. And the only thing I could figure out is because it doesn't have a clip. And it's not a pocket pen. If it's a pocket pen, I carry it in my pocket. If it has a clip, I either clip it to my lanyard at school or put it, clip it in a uh, pen loop. Um, but this is just beautiful and so pleasant to write with. I'm going to use this one at church tonight, take some notes. Just really looking forward to using it. Now, I guess I should show some of this stuff. Um, there's uh, the the threads. One of the things I noticed on the threads, and I noticed this in the picture when I bought it, the threads, I don't know. It's almost like, I don't know how to describe it. Like it, the the machining dust needs to be wiped off but I don't think that's it it's it's just not super glossy like the rest of the pen that has been polished I might get just a little silicone grease the the liquid kind from my I don't I was gonna get some from my Twisby pen and just put a little on here now that I think about it, I don't know how it would react with this. I, I think I'm not going to do that. I don't want to take any chances. This is a cartridge converter pen. It I can't take this off. This little metal part is a sleeve. It's part of the pen. It's not part of the converter. So this is not a pen that you're going to be able to eyedropper, which a lot of people have complained about. I've heard people complaining about that regarding this pen because typically these type of pens are known for making great eyedropper pens, but that's not something I do, so I'm not that worried about it. The It looks like it uses the same converter that the Pen BBS 308 uses, which is not a standard international converter. Both of these pens, I attempted to put this uh, standard international cartridge in, and the the opening is just too small. Douglas Rathburn, I mentioned in another video, uh, made a video about what type of cartridges you can use in these type of pens, so I would recommend checking out his channel. But this came with that converter. It looks almost like a Lamy converter, but I don't think it is. I should have tested it in one of my Lamy pens before I inked it up, but I will do that some other time. Now, both of these pens do not have an inner cap liner, so that's one thing I'm going to be watching for as I use them. Does the nib dry out? Um, when I say both of these pens, I mean these two pens that I got in the same shipment, the Pen BBS and the Fully one. They don't have inner cap liners, so we'll see how the nib does, whether the ink tends to dry out. But first impressions, man, I'm loving both of these pens so far. Looking forward to using them very much. All right, let me see. I think that was it. So, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.